name is Roger Taylor. I'm from Hurricane now. Moved down from Taylorsville, where I said before. Um, President Obama is flying around at Camp, whatever, Martha's Vineyard up there to have his vacation. Know that he and his wife took separate jets, but neither one of them were electric jets. They didn't run on anything <laughs> electric. And um, I, I understand that even electric cars that he's planning to force on all of us have to be plugged in, which goes to electric grid, which goes to a generator, which about, I understand about 80% are coal-fired at this point in time. Obama is also trying to shut down all coal production, which would probably set us back to a third world country rate if we don't have something to power those little electric cars that he wants us to run. I think we need to push so that our coal, even this low sulfur coal down here in southern Utah that's been tied up in a national monument, ought to be used so that we can obtain that energy independence that we need as a nation. Thank you. Many of us, myself included, have benefited from growing up in a society where we could walk into a room or a building, turn on a switch, in, and the lights turn on. Sometimes it's easy to overlook what a blessing this is. What a blessing it is that it's available not just to the wealthy, but also to, also to uh, middle and lower income earners as well. That's because we have affordable energy, and affordable energy is made possible by the mix of energy inputs we have, including and especially coal. Now we can burn coal and generate electricity from it uh, more cheaply, more efficiently, and in a manner that's more environmentally responsible than how anyone else does it in the entire world. Some of our coal is starting to be shipped to China, where it will be burned in far less efficient furnaces. It'll be used to generate electricity. We can choose to do it here, or we can choose to have that coal exported and burned there. I choose here because it benefits us more here. Yeah,